today. I'm so tired. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about those really bad days, those days that you think are wasted, those days that can possibly put people off landscape photography forever. But before we get started, I'd really like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this channel. If you need a website or online store, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and start your free trial. Anyway, today's video. Now, the reason I want to do, want to cover this topic of uh, basically failing in landscape photography is to, to hopefully kill a couple of myths, um, a couple of misconceptions, if you will. Photographers only tend to show their best work, and that makes perfect sense. We all do it. Why would we release something that we weren't happy with? And to a lot of new photographers, a lot of people who are just getting into their landscape photography, they may look at a body of work by one photographer, or they may look at pieces of work by 50 photographers, and what they're looking at is a small selection of the best work by a huge pool of photographers. So when they look at their own work and it's not up to scratch when they compare it against the best work by a broad range of photographers, that can be a little bit demoralising. So uh, photographers, including myself, which we'll talk about in this video, photographers may go out and have a bad few days and not come back with anything they're happy with yet they're looking at this work by other photographers and they're going, oh my God, what's the point? I'm never, I'm never going to be as good as this guy or this guy. I mean, look how good their work is. But what they might not realise is that actually landscape photographers definitely, definitely fail more than they succeed. And that's part and parcel of the game. Um, and the problem is, if you're new to landscape photography and you go out and you have three or four bad experiences without ever really getting that feeling of elation, that feeling of success when you do capture something amazing, then you'll never have that feeling and you'll never know. So you may give up and that is such a shame. So this video now, this video is really there to try and help encourage everyone to just continue on. We all have bad days, especially me, I have a lot of bad days. And in this video, I'm gonna cover some of my recent failures because, well, why not? So when I first started YouTube two years ago, I did a video at a location called Sprinkling Tarn. Um, and then it was, uh, a couple of months ago, it was my two year YouTube anniversary and I thought it'd be a great idea to go back and to shoot the, the first video, shoot it again. And it'd be nice to compare the first ever video with a video two years later. Um, so I got up super early, like 3.34 in the morning, drove all the way to this location, and then it's about a, an hour and a half hike to the spot where I took my image on my first ever YouTube video. It was a disaster. The weather was so bad. The forecast was really good, but Unfortunately, there was zero visibility and it just didn't work. But I continued to make this film in the hope of capturing something. So I'd gone up this mountain and pretty much realized it wasn't gonna happen. I'm a little bit sad this morning. Um, this is where it all began. This is the, uh, this is the location of my first video. Uh, my first ever video, two years ago, almost to the day. And oh, I'm so disappointed. By now I was feeling really tired. And um, what you should note is that I hadn't drank anything. <laughs> I hadn't drank any water, I've not had any breakfast, and I've been on the go since four in the morning. And by the time I've hiked up and hiked back down and got to my car, it's now been about six or seven hours. So I wasn't gonna give up. It's now 11 a.m. and the weather has cleared up, which is great. Um, although it hasn't cleared up where I was back there, um, it's still shrouded in cloud, so I shan't be going back. So I continue to another location. Um, again, you're talking like an, uh, maybe half an hour, 45 minute hike up fairly steep hills, quite steep terrain, and I did it twice. Once with no gear to have a quick recce, and then I went back and got my gear um, to take the photograph. But I've still not drank anything. I think I had a coffee 
one coffee and um, I hadn't eaten anything. And this is because I, think I was getting quite stressed. I put all this effort into this video um, and this entire body of work, but I'm not getting any results. It's going from bad to worse. The light isn't happening. The composition I'm not really happy with, but I'm trying to force, I'm trying to force a video. All right. I'm so tired. When I got to my location to take the photograph in the late afternoon light, I started to deteriorate. Setting up my camera, leveling my tripod. I can't help but think it's all in vain. I got really sick. Um, I felt incredibly lightheaded and then I just got hit with a bout of dizziness out of nowhere. In fact, I would say there's not going to be any light at all. So I'll give it a few minutes and then, so I'll give it a bit of time. Whoa. Damn it. Oh, feeling a bit dizzy. Oh. I think, I think it's time to go. Feeling dizzy, feeling tired. There's no light. I'm probably not going to release this video. At that point, I said enough was enough and I packed away and went home. Um, and that footage I kept, but really it, it was never to be edited as a video. Uh, although it is being edited now. Um, and that was a really bad day for me because I'd put in a lot of effort. I'd done a lot of walking and the result was just pain. I was just sick. Um, had nothing to show for my effort and it was a complete disaster. Now I'm fine, I can deal with a bad day because I know I have the knowledge of the joys. I know what could have been and what will be in the future but if that was your first ever outing uh, with a camera you might think I'm never doing that again, it's a disaster. Please stick with it and try and understand that bad days are part and parcel and for the many many bad shoots you'll go on it only takes one good one and it will transform your view of photography. Another uh, bad day that we're going to talk about is um, my first experience with large format film so I uh, I've invested in this lovely large format camera um, and all the gear that goes with it. I've got my light meters, I've got camera lens, dark cloth, I've got everything. Everything that you need. And I was really, really excited to go out, really excited to go out and shoot using this camera. <laughs> the thing with large format photography is you're not really supposed to shoot in bad conditions, rain, wind, it's not very friendly, it's not very, uh, it's not great in those conditions. So, good news and bad news. And I went out stupidly on the worst day. It was windy, it was raining, but there was some nice light. But it, I just, I was desperate to use the camera. I was so excited to use it. And I was up early, traveled a long way, hiked a long, long way, uh, up several hills into some woodland. I fell over. The whole thing was a disaster. The weather went from bad to worse. I ended up in a quarry, soaking wet, cold. But right now, optimism's gone out of the window. I'm cold, I'm wet. And I think, I think I'm giving up. I've been out all day. <laughs> all day, like eight hours in the cold wind and rain and I didn't even get the camera out of the bag once. It was such a shame. And again, that was a bad, that was my first ever introduction to large format film. Didn't get the camera out once because the weather was never going to play ball and yeah, just, just really bad. But I do know the joys that you can get from this type of photography. Um, although I haven't experienced them firsthand, I know they're there because I have the experience with photography in general. Every photographer has failure after failure after failure because that's the only way that we can get success. You can't go out every time and get success. That's not how it works. You need good fortune, good light, good knowledge of an area and persistence and tenacity. That is how we make great images, not by getting up, 
going to a location and nailing it every time. It just doesn't work and if it was that easy it would be really boring. And it's not just photography where you can have a bad day and be put off. I've noticed on YouTube there are a lot of photography vlogs starting up which is a great thing. I'd encourage it to anybody who wants to get their work seen by more people but it's incredibly difficult. So to give you an example I went out um, on a photo shoot and actually came away with a really nice image but I had to work so hard for that image because the weather was so bad, the terrain was really tricky to negotiate um, and I had to concentrate on the image and not so much the video so when I got the video back into the uh, editing software it just didn't flow, it, was, it just didn't work as a cohesive video. So instead I have this image but no video which again I don't see as a waste of a day because I got the image um, but it is a shame that I put in all this extra effort with no video uh, for you guys to see. So you can see a bit of the video here um, but the whole thing if I was to edit, try and edit a 10 minute video it wouldn't work, it'd be awful, it'd be jumping all over the place. So contrary to what I've just said this light does seem to be sticking around the bit, I can see there's a decent sized gap in the clouds over there so I've just worked on my composition a little bit more shifted a few feet left and it really has just opened up this image amazingly well. You know sometimes you get light like this and you're in the wrong location and that can be so incredibly frustrating but for me now today I think I'm in a cracking location to take advantage of this light. And yeah, you know, bad days make the good days better. I record my audio separately on a separate audio recording device um, rather than straight into camera. And sometimes, or in fact most of the time, I keep that audio running by mistake. So I'll do my piece to camera and then I'll switch off the camera but keep the audio running because I'm just not thinking. Um, <laughs> and I think this was a couple of weeks ago and I had a really bad day with the large format um, film camera and I was going through some of the video clips and some of the audio clips and picked this up. Oh for f**k's sake, absolutely f**king ridiculous. I'm giving up, absolute s**t. Oh for god's sake, what's the point, what's the bloody point? That is me <laughs> in a terrible mood, I think at that point I just gone over on my ankle and I was just had such a bad day and again if this happens to somebody who hasn't experienced the joys of landscape photography when it does go well then you may well give up and I encourage you this video has been uploaded to YouTube to encourage you if you have a bad day or you've had a few bad days if you had a bad month a bad year just put it behind you try and learn from it and keep going because the rewards are so worth it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and enjoyed the unseen footage. I'd like to thank Squarespace once again for sponsoring this channel. If you don't know who Squarespace are, they're an all-in-one platform where you go, you build a shop, you build your website, you get your domain, they've got 24-7 customer service, award-winning templates, they've got it all. And if you want to start a free trial, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton. And if you like your free trial and you want to continue with them, use the offer code Heaton for a 10% off your first purchase. Make your next move with Squarespace and I will see you back in Norway next week. I, I think it, it must be, must be minus, minus 10, minus 15 in my, it's seriously cold.